What is up, my friends? It is Tuesday night. It is the late night agenda, and you are very welcome along. I'm going to be talking about Jurgen Klopp's FA charge today and why there is a clear agenda against Liverpool and Jurgen Klopp. I know that there are going to be people watching this video who are going to be laughing and making the usual slurs and all the stuff that I expect when I do these type of things, but bear with me as I go through it, and I think and I hope by the end of it, maybe we'll find some common ground. So look, you know the drill by now. I'm going to give you my thoughts on the situation, but I want to know yours. Let me know in the comment section. Do drop a like on the video, and of course, if you haven't hit that subscribe button, please do. So look, it's been widely reported over the last couple of hours that Jurgen Klopp has been hit with an improper conduct charge from the FA, and he's most likely staring down the barrel of a second uh, touchline ban of the season, maybe one that will end his season on the sidelines so I want to know how you feel about it because for me I'm seeing a narrative now look let me start off by saying I don't agree with Jurgen Klopp getting up in the face of the fourth official I do not I can't defend it and for that maybe he has a case to answer but there is a case of double standards here you've probably seen the video doing the rounds on social media uh, with Dermot Gallagher speaking about whether Diogo Jota could have potentially had a red card or not. Now, his attitude towards Liverpool was very lucky to stay on the pitch, could have gotten a red. But yeah, earlier on in the season, in a season in an almost identical situation, Derek Gallagher was quite happy for Erling Braut Haaland to not even pick up a booking. Sure, it's all grand when Haaland does it, but if a Liverpool player does it, the energy seems to be a little bit different. Now, look, I know that this is me grasping at straws to some extent because that doesn't speak about Jurgen Klopp. But again, look at other managers. Arteta constantly had on the sideline it isn't just Jurgen Klopp obviously every club's fan feels like their players their manager are treated differently and that certain officials have it in for them it is absolutely clear that Paul Tierney doesn't like Liverpool and Jurgen Klopp why that is I do not know but I don't think it's even up for debate quite happily go back through his fixtures see the fact that he didn't send Kane off previously see the fact that he does seem to want to wind Liverpool up at any opportunity and again with regards to the confrontation with the conversation between Jurgen Klopp and Paul Tierney on the sideline release the audio it's very straightforward I know they're going to release it after the investigation but it doesn't seem like an investigation at this point it seems like a witch hunt to me so release the audio then we'll know what was said now, remember, before you come in and say that I'm just defending our manager point blank and I'm trying to just find a way to get out of this for Klopp, let's think back a few weeks ago. What was my stance when Andy Robertson got that elbow in the face from the fourth official or the linesman? Did I sit here and demand the man lose his job? Absolutely not. I said it was one of those situations where it was a bit of the heat of the moment thing. Let them deal with it. He certainly doesn't deserve to lose his job or have a ban. But then again, as soon as it comes around to Liverpool doing something, that energy changes and people want Jurgen Klopp hung, drawn and quartered for anything that he does. Look, he's an emotional manager and he does get up in people's faces, whether it be opposition players, whether it be managers. But let's think back to Pep Guardiola celebrating in front of Simicus and I think at one point in front of Andy Robertson and confronting Robertson. Where was the same energy? Exactly. It wasn't there. So to the FA, if you want referees to be respected properly, then you've got to start at a grassroots and build it all the way up. And yes, it will take time. But stop trying to vilify Klopp when it's clear that the referees and the officials in the Premier League, a lot of them just aren't fit for purpose. Us as fans, be it Liverpool, United, Chelsea, whoever, all we ask for is consistency of decision making. And there hasn't been that. And there constantly hasn't been that. The addition of VAR was supposed to remove a lot of these problems. Instead, all it's done is give us a situation where every week now, we have to be subjected to Dermot Gallagher, Mark Clattenburg, or whomever it might be, defending their colleagues and ridiculing managers. Where, when are we going to get a situation where referees are actually held to account for their actions? Why can't we mic up referees during games? That would absolutely stamp out this problem. I know people are going to say you can't mic up referees, Craig, because there will be swearing in that. Absolutely. But again, as soon as the swearing comes in, ban the players. It might take a little while. TV companies might have to get a bit creative with their bleeping. But if you want referees to be respected and you want referees to be treated fairly like they are in rugby, then mic them up and we can hear these conversations. We can hear the tone the referee takes with the players. And of course, we can hear the tone the players take with the referee. Same with managers. So look, apparently what Paul Tierney uh, said to Jurgen Klopp was, 
it's only a yellow because of him, I'd have given you a red. Something along those lines is apparently what is going to come out with regards to the uh, the audio from their confrontation. But I want to know how you feel about it. Do you think this is just me making up a way to defend Jurgen Klopp and Liverpool? Or do you agree? Let's look at a Casemiro incident. Casemiro was sent off earlier in the season for an almost identical foul to skip on Luis Diaz. Not only did Luis Diaz not get a free kick, Skip didn't even get booked. Now, it was not a red card. In my opinion, neither of those were red cards. But again, no consistency. So at what point do we stop pointing the fingers at managers, players, coaches, backup staff, and actually start holding these referees accountable for their own poor performances? Because they can't just be untouchable. If you want to blame Jurgen Klopp, you want to blame Pep Guardiola, you want to blame Mikel Arteta, fine. But let's have the same energy. We've seen Howard Webb come back to take over the PGMOL and the referees. Well, how about actually being proactive and showing those referees that they will be held to account? Because remember, elbow to the face of Robertson, no ban. Jurgen Klopp celebrates in front of a fourth official sideline ban. Where's the fairness? Where's the equity? Where's the equality? I don't think it's there. And every club's fan will have a set of officials that they believe has it in for them. Anthony Taylor, I don't believe, is very welcome in Manchester or Chelsea. But there you go. That's up to those fans to make that decision. For me, I love my manager. I love the fact that he's um, an emotional uh, human being. He's very much like myself. But he can go over the line at times. And I do feel that his behaviour to the fourth official was probably over the mark. Not the comments to the referee, not the comments he's been punished for, which is the after-game uh, comments about Paul Tierney. I stand by him with that 100%. But remember, it's those comments that he's been held accountable for, not getting up in the fourth official's face. That was dealt with during the game. He received the yellow card. So why all of a sudden is Klopp being pulled out again to be ridiculed, banned, whatever way you want to put it? I mean... Let me know. Do you agree? Disagree? Is it double standards? Or am I clutching at straws here? I can guess which way you're going to go with it, but I'm going to continue to defend my manager because he's my manager and I love him. Now, a couple of other little quick bits and pieces. Liverpool have apparently stepped up their interest in Manuel Ugarte. There's been various reports coming out of Portugal about that. Uh, they believe 60 million euro would be the number. I think that's his bio clause to get him out of a sporting deal. We'll keep an eye on that situation for you as well. But of course, I want to remind you that tomorrow, the Reds are in action against Fulham. We will be doing a watch along of it over on the Anfield Agenda Twitch channel one hour before kickoff. Hope you can join us for that one. And again, thank you for your continued support. But I do want to know your thoughts on the Klopp situation do you think he has stepped over the mark with his comments now remember that's what we're talking about here just the comments about Paul Tierney after the game personally I don't and I'm sick of seeing referees get away with it but then again I may be biased I'm open to that let me know your thoughts catch up with you guys soon much love bye bye